An ecological steel factory Collects scrap Makes quality steel And a million trees per year We visited it in Senegal to learn more and when we arrived, we were warmly welcomed by this gentleman who is always busy thinking about the future of Senegal. Uh, hello, I am Mr. Riyad Kawa, I was born in Senegal and I'm a general manager of uh, steel plants. Here in Senegal, we are recycling uh, scrap to make uh, standard steel uh, to build our uh, future buildings, our future infrastructure. So this plant is very important to Senegal because today we have technology of making steel as Europe, as other big countries. And today we can fight to get our country better, to build big scrap scrapers, why not? Skyscrapers, sorry, why not? And big infrastructure like highways. So let's check out the factory, but safety first. As you can see, there is many scrap metal here and there are many families in Senegal who are living off collecting scrap and bringing it here where Fabri Metal pays them in cash after weighing them. All of this will be recycled and transformed into high quality steel. The highest quality that Senegal has ever seen. Really cool. And as a result, the region has been cleaned from scrap it's been taken here to Fabri Metal and then the cranes take over and take it to the oven. Let's go inside and check it out. Most of the processes are automated and here is the magnet that brings all the scrap into the hottest place in the whole factory. And this is a big fan that sucks all the emissions and we will later see where they go. As you can see by the temperature, this is where the scrap gets melted. A breathtaking view indeed. Okay, the scrap is melted, let's go on and see what happens next. In this part of the factory they are producing billets, but for your convenience we'll just call them hot sticks. An automated process that needs to be kept an eye on. It's very hot when you come closer, as close as I am. Super hot. Not as hot as the sticks though. As you can see they are using water to cool the hot sticks down. They don't waste it, they of course recycled it on all the stages. The same happens with the oil on the factory as well. And also we are uh, filtering, filtering carbon uh, inside. Oh yeah, that's right, we wanted to talk about emissions. Let's take a look at the emissions from this factory. Oh, there seems to be none, where is the carbon? Let's take a closer look, oh it's in these bags. The bags are later given to other enterprises that need them and it's very important to capture the carbon in the sacks because otherwise it's gonna go directly into your lungs. The particles are so small that they can go even through the sack. Look at this. Wow. And they also have the machinery to produce high quality medical oxygen that goes for the needs of the factory and for the needs of Senegalese hospitals. So it's for the benefit of both the factory and the country as well. But yeah, we drifted away, let's get back to the hot sticks. What happens next? Alina spent a lot of time there, mesmerized by the process. After that, the hot sticks go inside this huge pizza oven and get even hotter at the temperature of 1200 degrees Celsius. Then they go through this long machine that makes a rail out of them and cools them down further. You can see the rail is right here and it's moving really fast. 
what is also good for Senegal is because Senegal was importing this steel from independence and today we don't need to import this kind of steel. We can directly use this uh, steel to build our, first, our own infrastructures and at a lower price. So uh, today uh, Senegal can be uh, a big country in West Africa uh, and why not maybe expo exporter of steel in a few years from uh, Fabri Metal Senegal or industries like this one in uh, Senegal. This is a part of the control room where the final tests are made, the bending, the breaking and uh, everything to ensure that the Senegalese steel from Fabri Metal meets all the international requirements. Uh, also, we are, we are making 1 million trees per year for Senegal from this uh, steel plant because we have a green uh, philosophy. Yeah, it's not only about making the steel, it's also about making Senegal better and greener. These poles will soon get sprinklers and will enable them to water this whole field near the factory. And it will help Fabri Metal in turning this almost dead area into something alive, green and beautiful. Because before that it was only dust. Uh, I had this vision because I was born in this country, so I am 100% Senegalese in my heart. And why we want uh, to go uh, like this uh, is because today uh, environment in Senegal is going down, we are getting less trees, we are getting less rains, and we know that in Senegal 50% uh, of the people are living behind agriculture. And today, if it is, there is not, no rain in Senegal, there is no green in Senegal, it will be a big problem for it to eat in Senegal, uh, and sufficient uh, in Senegal, so we are fighting for that. Uh, I think that this is a must for everybody today in the earth, to think to other people, to think in, in his country, because in each country we can first begin to think for the worldwide. So Senegal today is fighting to, have, to get his place in worldwide, and this is my mission today. Uh, honestly, to make Senegal uh, going uh, to be one of the better countries maybe in the world, why not? This is a tomato from a steel factory. How does it taste? Sweet. Produce, plant and subscribe to the Meridian Expedition to learn more about cool places, smart initiatives all over the world. See ya!